Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so excited to be bringing God's words to you today. Now, this is a new week, praise God. And li listen, God has great plans for you this week. And, and there are lots of things he's going to be doing in your life this week. And I'm trusting the Lord specifically for certain kinds of miracles in your life this week. That there are lots of things God is doing not just in your life, in our nation and on the earth. Don't let anything scare you. Don't let anything scare you. Are you hearing me? Now, because your father is walking. And when your father is walking, sit down, relax, and enjoy everything he's doing. <laughs> Why? Because he's doing it for your sake. And he's doing it for your good. Now, before we go on, let's call for that daily bread because that's what the Lord has commanded us to do. Say this prayer with me and say it and mean it. Don't just say it in your heart. Speak out. Say this. says, Father, I receive today my daily bread. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Let me tell you something. It is important when God commands you to do something, you do it the way he commands you to do it. Now, if you want to see great miracles in your life, you've got to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. And, and sometimes even when you pray, he actually tells you what to pray. Yeah, I'm telling you, he tells you what to pray. So, so you, you, you can be praying and sometimes he tells you what to say in a situation. You remember Jesus speaking and he says, look, when, when you're brought before governors or brought before the judgment um, hall or wherever, you know, it, it, it speaks of being in trouble. He says, don't try to premeditate what you will say. He said, at that very hour, the spirit of your father will put words in your mouth. Meaning, listening to what he's telling you to say because it is when you say that thing that the miracle happens i'll never forget the first day i had a physical I had a, 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 an encounter with a physical angel that was exactly what happened i was in that situation where i was stranded late in the night and i had to get to my destination before 12 midnight if not they were going to lock the gates so I got to that. I was there and I've been there for a while. I've been there for maybe 10, 10 or 15 minutes. And naturally, it's a, it's a place I'm known, I'm conversant with. So um, the the bus service has, has ended. At that time, you, you hardly find the bus. And, and I was ready just to go by enemy. So I was there. Then suddenly I realized, look, I, I, need, I need help. I need to ask the Lord for help. So I prayed, I said, Lord, no, this was exactly how I prayed. I said, Ministry Spirits, please send a boss to come and pick me. And the moment I said that, I heard the voice of the Lord say this to me. He said, rather, ask me to send one of the angels to come and pick you. Okay, I had just prayed a prayer. But then the Lord said, rather, meaning correcting the prayer I prayed. So he said, rather ask me to send one of the angels to come and pick you. So I said, okay. I said, Lord, please send one of the angels to come pick me. And I'm, not, you know, anytime I say this thing, it, I, I remember that experience so well, many years ago. So vividly. It wasn't up to 10 seconds. I didn't say 10 minutes. It wasn't up to 10 seconds. A car just drove past me. I didn't flag it down. It drove past me, stopped, reversed, came right where I was. And he walked down the glass and said, he mentioned exactly where I was going to. I said, yeah, that's where I'm going to. He said, then come in. <laughs> I said, woohoo. <laughs> Praise God. I opened the door, threw in my bag, opened the front door, sat in front. Just two of us in the car. It was a unique car, a car that I would recognize anywhere I see that car. 
But I, I've been, I was in that town for a while. I never saw that car before that day. And I never saw that car after that day. And then the moment I sat in, he said, this is not a taxi, you know. I said, I know. <laughs> and then I became mute. I was thinking, okay. I knew, I knew. Because the Lord said, ask me to send one of the angels. I knew he had answered. I knew. So, you know, you wonder what kind of conversation do you have with an angel. Now you get to realize that you, you don't speak until they speak. <laughs> yeah, you, you get to realize this. And we're approaching where I was supposed to alight. And I began to think, so what do I say next? Do I say, God bless you to an angel? Or do I say, you know, how do you say, how do, what do you... And then we got to the place where he dropped me. And I came down. I said, God bless you. Thank you very much. And then he drove off. Never saw him again. Why? Because the Lord commanded me what to say. I said it. Why didn't he accept it the way I said it? No, that was not the code for that hour. He, that's why we have been given the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters. He said, say it like this. Pray like this. Sometimes you are ministering the same thing. You're ministering to the sick. Come out in Jesus' name. Be healed. Be healed. And, and sometimes you hear speak these words. I'm trying to do, I know what I'm doing. Hey, obey him simply. He knows what will unlock that door. He knows what will unlock that healing. He knows what will unlock that financial favor. He knows what to unlock it. So don't try to do it yourself. Now, I'm saying all this to tell you. Now, the Lord commanded us that on this broadcast every day, on this broadcast, we should call for, I should lead you to call forth your daily bread. So when we do, follow. Follow. Don't say it in your mind. Speak out. You don't know. I've, I've been receiving testimonies. Yeah. Because you don't know why he said it. But I know one thing. He said it for your good. You are the one he was considering. He said, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to bless these people. And this is how I'm going to bless them. Now, on a daily basis, when you share, lead them to ask for their daily bread. Now, already Jesus had taught, he says, after this man that pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Now, when Jesus was saying that, he made it known to us that in heaven, there is a knowledge, there is an understanding that heaven is supposed to give you bread on a daily basis. And guess what? That bread has your name written on it. Yeah, it has your name written on it. So when Jesus said, pray like this, give us this day, our daily bread. Now, if you have understanding, you will know that he's also saying that you should pray that prayer every day. So when the Holy Spirit came and said, on this broadcast, you should lead them to pray this prayer. Now the Holy God, you know, that confirms what Jesus said, that the Holy Spirit will take up mine and he shall reveal it unto you. He will not do anything out of for, uh, by himself. He, no, 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 no. What he hears from me is what... So the Holy Ghost will not lead you to do anything apart from what Jesus has commanded us to do. That's how they walk. So Jesus had said this, but then now he comes and says, look, do this on a daily basis. So that's why we do it. We do it in obedience to his command. And then we do it in obedience to what Jesus has already taught. So guess what? You are just in line for righteousness. Praise God. And guess what happens? Now, once you're in line for righteousness, things get easy. You know why things get easy? Because the Lord takes it over from you. He takes it over from your weight. It's no more a weight for you. It's no more a weight for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And that is why I pray for you right now. 
everything that have been a burden in your life, today they are being lifted. They are being lifted. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord have said that he is positioning you this month. Therefore, I pray the name of the Lord Jesus. Receive the leadership of the Holy Spirit in your life. To be properly positioned where you ought to be now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Receive your positioning right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is moving you from where you, you've been that things are no more working. He is moving you to the next place that you ought to be. And he's doing this by himself. Now when he begins to move, don't fight him. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Don't fight him. Yield to the Spirit of God. Let him do the work that he's been sent to do in your life. He will order your steps. He is moving you into the place where provision becomes normal to you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah, that's what I see. I see you being moved to a place where provision becomes normal to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is a work the Lord is doing in your life. And that work is causing, thank you, Jesus. It is causing you to enjoy. He is bringing you to a place where the things you were struggling with before becomes normal to you. Those things become normal to you right now. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus, receive your positioning. Receive your positioning. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I see the Lord moving you just like he did Moses. He will get your attention in something. And then you will recognize that, hey, I think the Lord is trying to tell me. Yeah, it's the Lord. I'm telling you, it's the Lord. Satan, I bind you in this season. You have no right to interfere with what God is doing in our lives. You have no right to interfere with what God is doing in the lives of everyone that is hearing the sound of my voice right now. I release you into the ministration of the Lord. I release you into the leading of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be led by the Spirit of God right now. Be led by the Spirit of God. Receive experiences, receive dreams, receive manifestations that would change your position to where God has ordained for you. Let that be what is taking place in your life right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let this begin to produce results in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I release you to a life of abundance. I release you to a life where God speaks and his word is what is being made manifest. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Praise God. Thank you for joining me today. And this is it's going to be an exciting week. So don't miss any of the broadcasts this week. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, bye.